So speaking of a better quality of life, you're also um, creating some new communities. And one of them is um, Shady Grove Metro Area, mm -hmm. the Fire Training Facility. How did these smart growth initiatives get started? Well, it was an interesting question because uh, I thought for a long time it wouldn't get started. And here's what I found. And when I came county executive, we had a lot of age projects, age facilities in Montgomery County that needed repair. Uh, for example, uh, we had a liquor warehouse that had been there forever. We had maintenance facilities. Uh, we had a jail that needed repair. And so the typical request was, okay, let's basically uh, finance uh, reconstruction of these places where they stood. And several of the places were around the Shady Grove Metro. Maintenance facilities, warehouses, right at the Metro doorstep. Some of the most valuable land that you could find, we had county property, property that needed repair, property that was dilapidated, a property that in effect was a waste on the, our tax roll because this was productive land used by the government for the resources, I, for the programs that I've just described. And I said, well, I don't think that I want to repair those there. I would like to move all of those facilities and come up with a new plan. And it required about 20 different moves of county facilities and placing them in different locations. Our public safety headquarters, which we have right down the street from here. All of those things required a great deal of additional resources. And I said, no, I don't want to simply repair those. I would like to move all of those. And we could take the proceeds from the swap of the land that we would have and pay for new facilities, generate additional dollars on our tax roll because they would now be in the private hands paying taxes for it. And when I made this announcement to my own staff, about seven, eight people, they looked at me like, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> we, we can't do that. You've got all these facilities that are located here. Uh, they cannot be relocated. We can't do all of those things. This is a Herculean task. You need to rethink this, Mr. Executive. This is not a very good idea. And I sat there and, and really stunned that my staff was saying to me that this is not a good idea, we can't do this, and so forth. But I would not let it go. And later we hired a young lady by the name of Diane Jones, uh, who came aboard and I informed her of what I wanted to do. And she sat there and she said, I think that's a brilliant idea. Give me the opportunity to see whether or not I can implement it for her. And over a period of time, over a couple of years, she has implemented virtually every aspect of that. And now we've got new facilities. Uh, we have a tax road that is going to significantly increase because we have productive, uh, high-paying tax uh, ventures at those locations, and the county is much better off for it. But it was a Herculean task and one that I'm very proud of, but uh, it was very difficult because the, my staff thought it was a terrible idea. But I get the final say, so, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I proceeded like, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like there's a, it's a great concept. Yeah. And actually, it goes back to your budget sustainability again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because for the long term, this will provide additional revenues for the county because having a warehouse at the metro site is not going to produce you anything for you. You know, having a housing, having uh, some commercial activity there will produce tax dollars because it generates revenues for the county. And you take the proceeds from that swap and build new warehouses and new facilities. Many of these facilities were placed in these locations because at the time that they were placed there, uh, it was uh, out the outer skirts of the county. We built a public safety training uh, academy where we have all of the training for our police officers and our fire personnel uh, off of Shady Grove Road. And we did so many, many years ago when that was really rural uh, agriculture land and nothing around it. But what has happened, as you can see, uh, everything has developed around it. And so on one hand, we had fire engines and people out training with their dogs and everything right in the midst of some of the most valuable land in the county. And so I said, we should not do this. This is, this is no longer compatible for that location. Let's relocate that. But the problem was, where would you relocate that? Because no one would want those facilities uh, close by, but we found a community uh, out of near Montgomery Village that is now compatible with the community. They welcomed the site and we relocated it. Wow. Sounds and the land that we have there, we're going to be able to sell for probably over $70 million. 